Edward Snowden says, the most powerful institutions in society have become the least accountable. Here's a summary of the article. Snowden, speaking via video link, said the thing that chilled him the most in his discovery of the spying operations was that intelligence collection and surveillance more broadly was happening in an entirely different way, and was no longer the targeted surveillance of the past. Washington subsequently charged Snowden with espionage and theft of government property, while his passport was also revoked. Snowden recently released a memoir, Permanent Record, detailing the events that led up to his leaking of classified documents with journalists. The U.S. has sued him over the book, alleging he violated non-disclosure agreements he signed with the NSA and CIA. They don't like books like this being written, Snowden said Monday, in response to pressure from U.S. authorities on his autobiography. We have legalized the abuse of the person through the personal, he said, adding that the widespread collection of data by governments and corporations entrenches a system that makes the population vulnerable for the benefit of the privileged. Snowden also directed some criticism at data privacy authorities that have tried to step up regulation on companies over how they handle user data. The problem isn't data protection, the problem is data collection, Snowden said. This post received a score of 35,932, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Antitrust and monopoly laws need to be revisited. We need legislature to protect our online identities. A government official scanning a QR code on the wall of a house in Xinjiang that gives him access to the residents' personal information. Xinjiang State Radio via Human Rights Watch. Speak now before this becomes your future. This is reality right now in China. You get sent to Gulag for wrong think, like viewing an internet web page or image, and a government-assigned rapist is sent to your home to shape your wife and kids' thought in government-sanctioned ways. It's amazing, too, the uninformed, ignorant pro-China trolls that are trying to influence Reddit. Every political post about China is inevitably flooded with either paid trolls or complete idiots who go out of their way to justify genocide, organ harvesting, individual surveillance, and outright torture. I can't believe I live in a time where a modern holocaust is unfolding before our very eyes, yet there are people dumb and uninformed enough to give it a green light. Go spend a few minutes on, ah, Sino and their levels of denial are off the charts. Ah, uh, what did I just wander into? The posters there can't be legit, right? Right? Remember, astroturfing is everywhere. Most of these are real people, I think. They just believe everything their government says, and refer to any criticism as racism and xenophobia and anti-China. Dude, most R. Sino users aren't even Chinese. They're just fascists who love the idea of living in a dictatorship where they can gain power and influence just by kowtowing to a corrupt government. I'm not sure if I find that idea any more or less comforting. Roughly one third of humans are garbage. Pure garbage. Remember that normal folks and decent folks are the majority. This bullshit will rise up until it hits a tipping point and then people will revolt. IMO law enforcement taking your phone is the same as testifying against yourself. The people that say I don't care who knows what I do or where I go make me cringe. I just wonder when algorithms become a pseudo precog. Precog isn't the issue, it's context. People are complicated and there are dozens of things you could do for dozens of reasons that, taken out of context, can look incriminating. When all of your data is collected, a small chunk can be extracted from context and used to smear you. I'm gonna kill you is a lot scarier when you have a chainsaw in your hand versus playing Goldeneye with your brother, and he just got a lucky kill across the map with a shotgun. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.